Hey, very fresh. 23rd of April 2019. Boy, we've had a ton of snow melt, rain, mud. It's pretty messy around here. I saw this article yesterday, right? This is pretty crazy. Praise God, I'm telling you. He's showing us all this wickedness around us, man, and, and it should really get people thinking that, wow, this runs a lot deeper than I can even imagine. I think I need someone to save me out of this. Anyway, West Side Church displays piece of crown of thorns. So Chicago has a crown of thorns as well, or at least a piece of it. This type of thing just sometimes it makes me crazy to even see it. Uh, but I'll tell you, we're seeing it for a reason. There's there's always a purpose behind everything we see. So they got people worshiping relics, which, you know, for one, you don't even know the authenticity. And even if it were authentic, what makes people think this? I know, the devil. Because the devil runs the flesh, and people believe that their flesh is the end-all, be-all. This life is all I got, so I've got to make the most of it. And people actually want to preserve this. I want my Savior to come and clean up this mess once and for all. That's what I want. Praise Jesus. Anyway, listen to what these people say. This is just the kind of stuff that I notice, that's all. Near West Side. They're here to see a piece of the crown of thorns believed to be worn by Jesus Christ. We come down here because the relics are on display, and particularly we're looking forward, you know, in light of Notre Dame to this relic. Given to St. Louis of France, the full crown of thorns was saved from the recent Cathedral of Notre Dame fire. I think we were elated to see that the crown of thorns was saved. We were overjoyed to see that the most precious relics of Notre Dame were saved, especially when we have such a special c connection. The single thorn originally belonged to a monastery. Okay, so here we go. They have a thorn from the crown as well in Chicago, and it turns out a commenter uh, brought this up the other day. And you guys in the comments, God bless you all, man. You, so many of you come up with some really informative stuff, and I do appreciate it. I truly do. But it turns out Chicago is a sister city to Paris. Chicago, San Francisco, New York, and D.C. are all sister cities to Paris. Paris is got to be one of the most steeped in evil cities on the face of the earth. It, it absolutely is. And when we look at the layout I showed you guys the other day, from Notre Dame over to the palace, the royal palace where the Louvre Museum is, the pyramid, where they have the crown of thorns now. And when you travel down this main thoroughfare to the other end, you go literally from that pyramid at the Louvre, okay, so you're going from a pyramid, then you're passing right by a very, very authentic obelisk, then you're going through a giant monstrosity of an arch of Titus, basically, is what it is. I mean, what drives someone to build something like that? Think about this. Those are people up there. This thing is a monster. Why? They're building memorials to their God. And at the other end of it all, it winds up at this craziness. All right? This is at the other end through that all the way to that down the other end of the boulevard there. That's what is literally going on here from the pyramid to the giant portal. And what I found out was just really crazy. You gotta, you gotta see this. Now Chicago, I told you, they have a piece of the crown of thorns too. So I like maps. And I'm really looking for a map that works like Google Earth that isn't Google Earth. But this is downtown Chicago. Millennium Park. Right down the street from that cathedral. What is he, what do you see there? I see a Leviathan basically is what that represents with a serpent coming out, okay, to an egg, Easter egg, except this is a serpent egg, like a cockatrice, and this is a serpent, I mean, right in your face, people, they do this, and that serpent basically is acting as an umbilical cord as well, 
to this creature, whatever they have deemed it. They're still working on it for years. And when it's done, I guarantee you it'll be some creature. And when somebody points it out, they'll be called a nutbag. That's not a giant creature. That's not a serpent going into a giant cockatrice egg. No, not at all. You see what I'm saying? Paris's sister city, Chicago. Now, check this out. In my quest for a better map, one like Google Earth, I was looking around, searching through the internet, and I came across this map that shows you where the sun rises and where the sun sets on any given day in any given place, right? This is a map of Paris. It is literally this right here. And I hope you can see this. This is where the pyramid is, right down here. That's exactly where the pyramid is. The obelisk is right here. The giant arch is right here. And that portal is down here. It's about five miles between the two, okay? Now, get a load of this. We know that this week, right, is like Beltane. It's a huge satanic sacrificial rituals going on everywhere, fertility rituals, and blood sacrifice, fire, okay? And May 1st culminates on Beltane. And remember that these holidays, much like the Jewish holidays, begin and end at sunset. So in April 29th sunset to April 30th sunset is the Walpurgis. From April 30th sunset to May 1st sunset is the Beltane. Huge fertility holiday and fire festival. Okay, It must have human sacrifice to re-verify the land by fresh blood in divine kinship. Okay, this is what's going on. This map right here, this is the sunrise, and this is the pyramid inside this red circle. And this is the main thoroughfare. There's the giant arch right there, and the other portal is right over here. The obelisk is right here. And this is where the sun will set on May 1st. This You just can't make this stuff up. Boom. At 21.05.59. And I have 21.06 right there. And it lines up perfectly. So in other words, that sun on May Day will be peering right through this. You'll see that sun right there. And it'll run right up this boulevard. Right up through the giant arch. Right on past this Egyptian obelisk and right up to the pyramid, which is now housing the crown of thorns. Okay, and there's so much we can go through, you guys. The very sight of where all this is occurring, Paris is so steeped in just ancient satanic occult beliefs. It's amazing, you guys. The Knights Templar, all of it, Paris, France. And let's not forget, May 1st is also the birthday of the Illuminati. May 1st. Who, by the way, were responsible for the French Revolution. And this ties into the American Revolution, the 1776. Remember how our little gargoyle friend in the uh, Denver airport was telling people that he is 243 years old? just happens to be exactly the same age as the United States and the Illuminati. That's just, you know, a coincidence. They're just making fun of you is all they're doing, and they're doing it as they literally steal your soul from you, your eternal soul. I have no idea when or how this will play out, but these types of things don't come across our paths and aren't revealed to us for no reason. I can't find anywhere where it tells us that this purposely lines up right on May Day. A perfect lineup on May Day, which is also it's Labor Day in France. And you have all these protests basically burning up the city. I mean, seriously, we just had the Queen's 93rd birthday yesterday, which the number 93 
in and of itself is a story. Uh, we could just go on and on and on, but the bottom line is, is you're in a spiritual war, manifesting into the natural world. If you're not aware of it, if you don't even know that you have an enemy that is buying for your eternal soul, you understand? It matters. Then you will fall prey to it. So, here we go. I mean, this whole week is just majorly satanic. And all these things culminating together like this is just bizarre. The French Revolution. The Illuminati. You know what else was born on Beltane? This is true. 1966. The Church of Satan. And there's our buddy John Kerry with Anton LaVey. Isn't that just something? The Church of Satan was literally born on the eve of Beltane. And they do that on purpose. From sunset to sunset. And this lines up perfectly on that day. That is crazy to me. And I must share it. <laughs> Praise God. Peace and grace to y'all. And fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 